like an hour and a half to try to figure it out. Wow. I guess, yeah, we had to call the Xfinity. Well, let me guess what they told you. I could have told you to do it. I should have. Yeah. You, you got to repower the computer, repower the modem, and repower the um, uh, the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, it was the Wi-Fi that wasn't working. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. kept going to Xfinity Home, and we have Netgear. Next and time so we have a problem, yeah. remember to do all three. Okay. Because if it's your Wi-Fi or modem, just rebooting the computer won't won't resolve it. Okay, and, yeah. And that usually does it. it solves most okay. any, any connection difficulties. That will always be the first thing they'll tell you to do. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Um, it's sides real blurry. These out. Uh, if I can't, you have this paper in front of you, and you can verify. I, yeah. I'm reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we want to do the yeah. circled ones? Um, we just want to do the ones that aren't circled. We already checked the ones that are circled. Okay. So that's pretty much all the um, odd ones. So. Okay. Let's see if I've got okay. this right. Eleven x cubed y. Uh, for fifty five b. 55A? Er, uh, actually, I think we're doing, yeah, just 55B, actually. Okay. Um, so, yeah, do you just want me to read it off to you? Yeah, why don't you? That's probably easier. Okay, so it's uh, negative 2X squared hold, Y. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Yeah, 55 B, yeah. 55 it's so hard to read. B, oh, I see. And these are all multiple choices. I get it now. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I was yeah. confused. Excuse me. Oh, I get it. And the circled is the answers. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm with the, 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 oh, I was a little... Hold on. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I, now I can't access 55. I don't, there it is. Yeah, there we go. 5B. Read it for me. Um, yeah, so it's negative two x squared y. Um, let me see. Okay, plus six x y. Uh, and then those are in parentheses. Plus seven x minus seven. Seven x y minus seven. My bad. Um, plus negative four x squared y. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I got bless you. Um, and the negative eight x y minus two. Okay. Since we're adding these three things, mm -hmm. the only thing we can add is terms that are like. I yeah. can't add a x squared y to an x y. No. I can multiply. You have them. to combine them. I can multiply yeah. them together, but you can only add and subtract stuff that's the same, the same type mm -hmm. of thing. So yeah. we want to find, we've got some x squared y's here. I got some more x squared y's over there. How many total x squared y's do I have? Uh, x y's. Just the x y or squared? This one, this type, this kind of term right there. There's only one other one in okay. the problem. Yeah, yeah, it's negative 4 x squared So y. combine them? Uh, so I'd be negative 8, or negative 6. Negative 6. X squared y. X squared y. Okay, yeah. now let's look at the next term that's different. How many of those do I have? Uh, all, all we have total. three. Okay, three. so combine those three. So, 7 plus 6, that'd be, so that's 13 x y. Okay. And then, sorry, my phone just went off. Um, so, wait, let me see here. Okay, so that's negative 13. Or just 13 minus 8. Uh, so it'd be 5xy. Okay, and we do need the plus sign here. Yeah. Notice that you can't assume a plus sign. If I left that blank, that wouldn't have mm -hmm. much meaning. It would actually mean this whole thing multiplied by this whole thing. So mm -hmm. sometimes you cannot write the plus sign, but most of the time you do. You only you yeah. only cannot write it if it's leading something. If it's not being added, this thing is being added, so I have to put a plus sign in there. Okay. And what about the number? In other words, that takes care of that, 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 and that. Yeah. So now it'd just be minus nine. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. Fifty six or fifty seven? Uh fifty six B. Fifty six B, okay. Yes. And then do you want me to read that one off too? Yeah, let me take a shot at it. X squared or cubed? Okay. Yeah. Uh X cubed. Oh it is cubed. Yeah. X cubed so minus max minus. plus three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Subtract in parentheses three is three x squared, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Plus four x minus three. Minus. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with the biggest okay. degree term. Okay. So let's see. Would it be? I'm kind of confused on that. Would it be three to three x to the fifth power? No. Remember when or we're adding we, or subtracting. Uh, we Oh, we can't do we can't that. Do it. We can yeah. only yeah. subtract or add like terms. Okay. So I only so, have one x to the third term in this thing. Yeah. Okay. So it would be negative two x plus four x, which is two x. Well, hold on. So it'd be hold on. X so, cubed, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's our initial part of our answer is x cubed. It's uh -huh. the only x cubed in there. So uh -huh. I'll put it down below and cross it out. Now, how many x squareds do we have? Um, just one. What's its sign going to be? Uh, three x or minus three x key or squared. Okay, minus three x squared. The key is you got to yeah. you got to distribute this negative sign to every term in the parentheses. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. That term. And then now, yeah, and then now it'd be plus 2x, plus 2x. No, you yeah. got to distribute that sign to every term in the parentheses. So this minus sign turns this into a minus 4x. Oh, so it would be negative 6x. Yeah, and in fact, okay. let's go back and use the technique that I've, I teach everybody, which is to turn all your subtraction problems into addition problems. And okay. Here's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You change the subtraction to a plus, and you change mm -hmm. the sign on everything that follows if it's in parentheses. So okay. this has to be a minus, this has to be mm -hmm. a minus, and this has to be a plus. Now okay. I can remove the parentheses. Okay. And when you have a plus and a minus next, always a minus. Okay. So now I never did need these parentheses, so I can remove those anyway. Now it's just combining all like terms. So you were right. It's minus 6x because I have a minus 2x minus a 4x. Mm -hmm. What's the number part? Um, and then it would just be plus 6. That's all there is to it. So the cool. only trick is that when you're subtracting a big three different numbers, in other words, when mm -hmm. I had that subtraction and in parentheses, it meant I was subtracting each of those numbers. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we want to do 57B? Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. and these are linear 2x plus 3. That's a linear term, mm -hmm. meaning that if I graphed it, it would be a straight line. How do I multiply yeah. those? Um, so what I did, I did the box method. Okay. So to do that, you just make a box with four uh, squares. Um, read off the, and yeah, then, just read off the terms. Uh, so 2x and then 3, and then 4x and 1, and then so it'd be... They don't, they didn't teach you uh, foil? No, oh, uh, they, no. Not really. They didn't teach you what I teach everybody, which is E-T-E-T. -E -T. Let me teach this to okay. you because I think you'll like it better. Sure. Okay. E-T-E-T -E -T okay. means every term by every term. Okay. So here's how I'm going to multiply this. I'm going to mm -hmm. take this term, multiply it by this term. Then I'm going to mm -hmm. take that same term and multiply it by the other term. And then I'm going to take mm -hmm. the second term, the 3, and multiply it by the first term. And then I'm going to take the second term, the 3, and multiply it by that term. Notice every okay. term by every term. 
Mm -hmm. Now let's, what's the first result? That happens to be the same as FOIL. Mm -hmm. FOIL is first, outside terms, inside terms, last terms. That's what FOIL okay. stands for. I personally okay. don't particularly like FOIL. I prefer ETET. -E and the reason is that ETET -E applies even if it's two terms times three terms. Okay. So it's more robust. But okay. FOIL would work just as well here. Your box method is just an example of FOIL. But okay. uh, that sounds too close to the California method for factoring. Um, mm -hmm. When yeah. you multiply every term by every term, what do you get as a first term? Um, so for the first term, you get 8x squared. Next term? Um, plus 12x. Always go in a certain order. Okay. There's nothing wrong with what you did. Okay, mm -hmm. let's let's I'll do that. What's next? Okay. Um and then minus two X okay. minus three. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You did the two middle operations in the reverse of the way I would have done it. Mm -hmm. Let's just review that again. Okay. It, I did that times that, and then I did that same number times that. So mm -hmm. my answer would have been 8x squared minus 2x. Then I do that times that, which is plus 12x, and then the last. Okay. Now you say, well, what's the difference? It gives you the same answer. And it's true, it does. Mm -hmm. The difference is pretty quickly you're going to have to do this. Yeah. You're going to have to multiply a binomial term times a trinomial term. Okay. And the biggest danger, if you do it the way you do it, is getting lost. In other words, if mm -hmm. I do this times that, and then I do that times that, and now what? Well, maybe I'll do that times that, and then I could do this times this. Uh, did I do them all, or did I miss one? I don't know. Yeah. So I follow a very strict pattern that I will never forget. Mm -hmm. I do the first mm -hmm. term times each term. Okay. And then I do the next term times each term. Mm -hmm. And then I do like that. And that way I could even handle an x plus y plus z times an a plus b plus c. That okay. produces all cool. kinds of terms. But mm -hmm. when you get this many terms, the trick is to make sure you got them all and that you didn't leave any out. And the way to do okay. that is to, it's like starting from the first and you know you're not going to leave any out if you follow a pattern. Mm -hmm. All right. We okay, got cool. 57. Yeah, so now 58B. Okay, ah, here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they gave this to you. I wasn't sure if I was yep. explaining something you didn't have to know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, so let's do this and yeah. let's use a pattern so we don't end up missing one. Okay. Tell me what to write. Um so it would the first line should be three X um, plus three plus X squared plus one. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is that. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. First term by first term. Okay. And Don't then... ever start out doing second term by first term. Okay. Okay. So what's that? Okay. Um. So that would be. Now you can multiply these. You couldn't add them, but you can multiply. Would be. Oh, uh, would be x cubed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What next? Um. So it'd be x cubed. And then you would multiply the x by 2x. All right. What's that? Um, plus 2x squared. Good. Plus 1x. Good. Um, plus 3x squared. Keep going. Uh, plus 6x plus 3. And you see the advantage of using a very methodical pattern? 
Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that's actually easier. Yeah, it is. There's no thinking. Yeah. There's no thinking about mm -hmm. what to do after you do the first one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now combine everything. Okay. Okay, so it'd be x cubed, yeah, x cubed plus um, three, well, plus five x squared. Good. Plus uh, seven x plus three. Good. Cool. Fifty nine b. Yep. You get problems that it never hurts to draw a little picture. Yeah. So the length is 2x plus 13, and the width is 5x. Yeah. Which expression represents the area of the garden in square feet? How did I know that said area, not perimeter? I can't see it. Um, so it has length. Perimeter. Yeah, it would have said area. perimeter, it's it would have said feet, not square feet. Okay, yeah, square feet area. is a measurement yeah. of area. So even though okay. I can't see the word area, I know that that's what's there. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So how would you get the area of this rectangle? What's the okay, so area of a rectangle? Uh, base times height. Okay. What, that, what does that become? Um, so it would be... 10x squared. Okay. So let me see. 10x squared. And then what's 13 times 5? 65. 65, yeah. 65 what? So that would be uh, square feet. 65x. Or 65x. Yeah. So yeah, it would be 10x squared. 13 plus times the 5x. Mm -hmm. And that's this answer here. Awesome. And then... Yeah, I did the last two, so okay. I think, yeah, that's it, actually. Yeah? So, yeah. You feel good to go? I do, yeah, this is actually really easy. Now you taught me the ETET. -ET. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems a lot easier now. Because the box method takes a long time, so yeah. that'll save me time, too. Okay. So, um, yeah. uh, let's see. Uh, is your mom there? Ah, uh, she, yeah, let me ask. Hey, you talk to her, because she made this appointment for Wednesday. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'll need you there, because we have finals that okay. day. Okay. Um, and then Thursday is our last day, so. Okay. So, you oh, feel, God. you feel like you're good to go for your test? You don't need any more session? I do, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't so. need to talk to your mom. I'll just go ahead and cancel this one. It was on okay, yeah. And it, okay, and then we, yeah. We'll, if you do feel like you need more help tomorrow when you start looking at it, mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. stacked up from 1.30 to 9, but if I, I, I do frequently get a cancellation or somebody only does a half hour instead of an hour. Okay, um, yeah, if someone cancels, well, could you just go ahead and set up and then... Well, I can, I can do that. More um, okay, you okay. want me to do that? So... Yeah, right, we can get do a that. cancellation. Yeah. You want me to contact you? Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. If I okay. don't, awesome. You'll you'll yeah. be on your own. But it looks like you're doing pretty good. Um, okay. Things going okay for yeah. you? Yeah, things doing really well. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you're having a tough time with other things right now. But yeah. It sounds like you're doing pretty good yeah. in school. Yeah, I am. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm getting four A's, two B's. Yeah, so. your mom said that. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, really good. Thanks. Especially considering the extra stress you're under. Yeah, exactly. Right. Awesome. Well, well thank good you. To focus your attentions on something like anything else, you know, and and cool have a is. good outlet for you there. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Ellen, awesome. good luck on your test. Right. Have a nice Christmas. If I don't talk to you before then, and we'll probably talk to you next year. Sounds good. All, All right. right. Sounds good. Thank you. Merry you're Christmas. Welcome.